Hello, my beautiful and amazing friends. I am so thrilled and excited to be with you today and to share with you about some of the amazing things that our God is doing on the streets of some of the roughest, toughest, darkest inner cities of America. I remember many years ago one day, I was suddenly surprised whenever God spoke to me and said, Deborah, I've called you to rescue girls. I didn't know what that meant. I didn't know what that quite look like. But do you know what? Whenever God speaks to us, my friend, whenever he drops a dream, a vision, uh, a goal on the inside of us, he is always faithful to bring it to pass. Within 24 hours, I was in Houston and I had an appointment uh, on a very busy street uh, in our city called Westheimer. And when I had left that appointment that day, I was driving down Westheimer. Whenever I looked out of my car window and I noticed a very young girl, hardly dressed in any clothes at all, with some very high heel shoes on and lots and lots of makeup. And the moment I looked at her, I thought, oh my goodness, that young girl, she just looked like a child. She looked so extremely young. And the next time I looked at her, I thought, wow, she is a teenage prostitute. And I remembered in that moment what God had dropped in my heart the day before. He had dropped dropped in my heart and he had said, Deborah, I want you to rescue girls. And I had just a moment to make a split decision. Am I going to take a right and get onto the freeway to take me back to my home in Missouri City, Texas? Or am I going to make a U-turn and go see what I can do to help this young girl? Well, long story short, it was in the hot summertime right here in Texas. I turned my car around. I saw the girl talking to someone outside of a business and I jumped out of my car I didn't even have my shoes on I ran across that hot pavement and I ran directly up to her I smiled at her and I said honey I said what can I do to help you today and she began to cry and she said all I need is a ride to Missouri City I said well that's where my home is and she said I need to be dropped off at a friend's house well long story short I put her in the car with me. I made sure she didn't have a purse. She wasn't carrying any drugs with her. She didn't have any weapons. You know, we have to use wisdom. All she had on her was her cell phone. And as I began to drive her to her friend's house, I just looked over at her and I said, you are a beautiful girl and you're in a very safe place. And what can I pray with you about today? What can I do to help you? And she began to cry and tell me her story. She told me how her mother had sold her on the streets of Texas. I mean, it was just a devastating, devastating life that this beautiful young girl had endured. Not only that, but she had been sold and she was being controlled by her pimp. And that day she made a run for it. She made an escape. She showed me the the red mark across her neck where her pimp had tried to strangle her. Can you imagine that very day? And she said, I left all of my shoes. I left all my clothes. And she said, the only thing I had in my hand was my cell phone. And I made a run for it and I escaped. And she said, about the time that I escaped, she said, you pulled up and asked me how you could help me today. And so as we were driving, I brought her to a friend's house. I pulled in the driveway and I said, honey, before you get out of the car to go see your friend, I want to pray with you today. And at that very moment in time, that beautiful young girl asked God to forgive her of her sins. She invited Jesus Christ to come and live in her heart. And that beautiful young lady became gloriously born again that day. And that began my adventure. And it has been an adventure. It's been a roller coaster ride. It has its highs and it has its lows, which I'll explain in a moment. But I made it my mission to rescue girls, to rescue men, to rescue children, to rescue anyone and everyone 
from addictions and from danger in the inner city. And so many times when we're on the streets of the inner city, we're helping girls to come to know Jesus Christ. We're helping young men to become born again. We're bringing people to church. But I'm telling you, sometimes we get bad news. Sometimes we find out that one of our beautiful and amazing young men or young women has been tragically killed, whether it was an overdose on drugs or whether they were brutally murdered. But I said all of that to say this. I love 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. The weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal. They're not man-made, but my friend, they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And so today we are in a war. We are in a war going after our next lost soul. And even though sometimes we lose someone in the natural, we had already prayed with many of these people who experience an untimely and tragic death. And we know that they are in heaven with Jesus Christ. And so today, I want you to know I'm fighting for the souls on the streets 